one of the things people have been talking about is whether Chinese or ethnic Chinese these days as a result of the pandemic are being treated um, unequally with racial discrimination or racial profiling. Uh, so what do you make of the current situation? Are you safe? Yes. Yes? Mm -hmm. Jia Hong, go ahead. Yeah, so at least in the city of Ann Arbor, uh, because we are probably the second highest educated city, because the university is right here, we have a joke like um, there's like more, there's only 40% of the population here who don't have a bachelor degree is because they're the students. Um, mm -hmm. So over here, the environment is safe and friendly, but there is some of the trend that there is some increasing of hospitality towards the Chinese international students. But at least for most of the people, at least the educated people in America, or uh, those people are friendly, they some even ask, like my, I have a great friend in Minnesota, they even text me to ask if there's anything they can do for me, and send some like food su supplies all the way from Minnesota. Uh, but after all, I think um, for people who are educated and well-informed, they know that this situation not caused by us, and we are the one fight the, fight the greatest in the beginning, trying to reduce the influence of this pandemic in the world. And we do set a great example for the rest of the world to study, like how we lock down the city, how we treat our patients. So yeah, I think overall we're safe. And uh, yeah. 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 That's in Ann Arbor. What about for you, Yulian? So actually, uh, in Champaign, as, as I mentioned, uh, University of Illinois is, has been known because of its diversity. And in Champaign, 20% of the students are international students. So everyone here is very open-minded to different cultures. So I didn't see any discriminations by myself, but I did see, I did see some discriminations happen in the US on news report. So I do think it's dangerous or the discriminations is because of the lack of communication. So from my own perspective, I think Chinese students uh, should serve as the civil ambassador for Sino-US exchanges. And the students should enhance communication, like Chinese students should enhance communication with domestic citizens here in the US. Mm -hmm. So I think if we can enhance our communications, the discrimination thing will happen. We will not happen in the future. Yeah, well, uh, I see Chi Rong is uh, in a way having a very unique smile on his face. Uh, obviously, you're using big word, uh, Yulian, when you were describing your thoughts, <laughs> for example, ambassadors of a, a country and uh, building the yeah. friendship uh, and the bridge. So Chi Rong, what do you think? Yes, I just want to echo on Yulian's point. Uh, I'm I thought also... you're going to use some smaller words. Yes. <laughs> exactly. So uh, I'm not actually thinking about ambassador, but after Yulin's speech, I, I feel like this is pretty much the job that international students serve in the U.S. So me and my friends uh, who's in New York City, I think one of the more severe places in the United States affected by coronavirus, uh, he will wear a mask uh, here and he will write something on a paper and stick to the forehead telling people that we wear masks so that we keep each other safe. We don't, we don't wear it because we're sick. So we want to uh, inform the Americans and challenge their news that people should actually wear masks to prevent further infections instead of just uh, only allow the sick people to wear masks. So we want to challenge on that idea and we want to mm. tell them by just sticking the nose direct on the forehead just to say it straight, you know. So that's that's actually what we do. <laughs> that's a campaign you guys started. Uh, <laughs> not really. It's just it's it's just For what fun. they have to do in 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 uh, New York cities because New York cities is where uh, yeah. they actually face some danger and discriminations. Absolutely, uh, there's uh, the cases are increasing very fast in the city of New York. What about in Vancouver in Canada? Also, a country proud of its diversity. Uh, Shui Yan, are you safe? Uh, because we have questions coming from our viewers and uh, uh, CGTN fans. They're asking, how are the locals treating the Chinese students over there? Shui Yan? Thank you. 
Uh, I do have to say Vancouver is a city that conquers like a lot of diversity, but I do see some cases that like when Chinese people, one of my friends were working on the street wearing masks and some Canadian were saying, oh, you dropped your virus. I think that's very racist. So um, I do believe that even a lot of people were wearing masks right now, they do give an eye on us. So me and my friend actually started a campaign called 321 Mask Challenge. So we wear mask and write uh, C for coronavirus and not for China on the mask, just to show them like, don't put this virus on any country or something. We, it's mm. like uh, globally treated and we all have to fight this together. Mm. That sounds like a great campaign. Make sure you let me join in also, okay? Sure.